Good morning, Faith Community. I'm Jason, and today we are continuing our walk through the New Testament by looking at 2 Timothy chapter 1. As we start 2 Timothy, I want us to understand that this is the last letter that we're going to be looking at from the Apostle Paul. And Paul is nearing the end of his life. Uh, he's imprisoned. He's nearing the end of his earthly ministry. And so uh, as, as he nears the end of his life, I think he wants to start, you know, moving some of his instructions, some of his encouragement uh, towards a, a, a certain direction of, of I'm passing this off uh, to you. And that's certainly the feel that we get as he's writing to his uh, beloved partner in ministry, Timothy, uh, just saying, look, this is, this is going to be yours. And I think, you know, for, for many of us, as we are a part of the Christian life, we are, we are taking what is started by that New Testament church, and we're continuing it on to today. So I think, you know, we can even learn from Paul's words here. And what I want to focus on uh, primarily is in, in chapter 1, verses 11 and 12, uh, keeping in mind this is some of Paul's last words that he's ever going to write. He says, For this gospel I was appointed a herald of apostle and teacher and that is why i suffer these things but i am not ashamed because i know whom i have believed in and am persuaded that he is able to guard what has been entrusted to me until that day and so paul in the midst of this this chapter that he's writing to timothy is just saying look this the gospel is is primary it is the most important thing uh, about this life here on earth it is it is it is preeminent above above everything and so do not be ashamed of that gospel and so as he's he's writing this and he's writing to his friend Timothy he says you know this is this is who I am this is what I want my life to be about and we see that this is a very personal decision for him listen to how many times the word I is used for this gospel I was appointed a herald, apostle, and teacher, and that is why I suffer these things, but I am not ashamed because I know whom I have believed and am persuaded that he is able to guard what has been trusted to me until that day. This is a, a very personal uh, thing for Paul. This is, as, as we know from Paul's re writings that we've been reading through uh, for for much of the year now, is, is Paul and the gospel go hand in hand, right? The, the gospel has become such an entwined uh, intertwined part of, of Paul's life that they're inseparable this is this is who he is um, and he he wants us to know that he came by this decision in a in a rational uh, manner he didn't choose to follow the gospel based on you know society's pressures or or anything else like this is this is a a choice that I came to in a very rational uh, way I suffer for these things I'm not ashamed because I know whom I have believed and persuaded. Like, this is something that he he knows. He experienced the resurrected Christ. He saw what he was doing. He went from being a, a, someone who persecuted the earliest Christians to the, the greatest church planter that Christianity has ever seen. Uh, he, he knows uh, these things. He's emotionally invested in it. He, he knows and he believes. His, his knowledge moves to action, moves to belief. He's put his life into this. Uh, he's given everything to this. He's been imprisoned for this. He's been beaten for this. He's been left for dead for this. He's lost relationships for this he's his his knowledge has moved to belief um he, and he continues to make that choice i am persuaded right that, that that he he understands that there's there's choice he needs to 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 jump all in if you will into this gospel uh, and that's what's given him the direction of his life and this is what he wants this is what he wants timothy to, to carry on to keep the gospel to not be ashamed of the gospel to not be ashamed of of the teaching of jesus christ to not be afraid of what is on the horizon to not be afraid of taking this ministry that paul is now leaving and and running with it and i think that many of us as we as we count the cost I, maybe we're not willing to do that but we can learn from paul and learn uh that he he understood he knew the gospel his gospel led to belief and a continual choice uh to, to push after that and i think that's something that as we look at the last words of paul that we can take encouragement from thank you so much god bless have a wonderful day mm -hmm.